Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Peggy from Peggy B Designs and I have a haul for you. It's mostly Halloween. I am also going to show you my uh, gel printed papers that I said I was going to show you. Okay, let's get in with the haul. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is, oops, I had to put them in another bag because I opened them up. Some little uh, glittery pumpkins. Those are so cute. I got a lot of ideas for those. I will show you one place I put them. Okay, and get my bag. I'll go ahead and put them back up. As I'm showing you. I got two packs of these pads. Let me let's see. Let's take them out of the bag. They're also way glittery. I've got to get some. I always forget to get the uh, hairspray so I can. Because I don't have any. I don't use hairspray. So, But to stop all the glitter from falling and all. I need to get me some and spray them. But. These will be their own little clips. I'm probably going to take them off, most of them off the clips. And I'm thinking, once I want to do a canvas, a Halloween canvas, I've got to get me a big enough canvas. I got two packs of them, and I'm going to put some on up on the wall, going up in my mantle where I showed you. Up on that, I found my uh, two hands that I needed. Well, these are the, whoops, sorry for the glare, the uh, trays that I found that the dude that I'm watching, that I watched, he put these like that and then that, but he cuts these and, and, and get some like, like this. So it can hold a LED candle. Oh, I so can't wait to get started on that. One thing I got to get me some candles. Forgot to get some candles. And this is from Crafter Square. Color your own ornament. And it's the little fonts. Oh, it's so cute. There's eight in a pack. They got their ornaments so you can you know just hang them up you can make garlands or you can just just do whatever you want to with them and I thought they were so adorable and I also got the maple leaf I know I'm not in Canada but hey maple leaf is fall the hey thingy thank you I got me some more dusters I got four more, not Halloween related, just needed some more. I get some every time I see them because there's sometimes they just like, oh my God, and they don't have any more, and I need some more, so I pick up four at a time when I do see them. I got me some little, some 18 inch skeletons. I think they're 18 inches. Let's see. Yeah, 18 inch. Come on. Come on, focus. Oh, this thing is just not focusing. I am going to... I have, we have overhang on our porch. And I have other Halloween hanging things that... Uh, thing, and I think having skeletons. So I was like, oh, they have 18-inch ones now. They're not as long as the others that I got, but... They'll fit in. Okay, this bag can go down there. I got two of these big skeleton skeletons. And why I didn't get any, get another one. I need three. Because I just realized the other day I could do, um, I saw in a, a store tour that they have. See no evil, hear no evil, etc. 
they, you know, speak no evil. And they do the, with the, the hands like this, you know, like this. That's a hear no evil. And then they have the others, like, I don't know. I, I do need the hands, but I was thinking the, they have some uh, salad tongues that's, that are skeleton hands. And I need to get some of those. Hopefully they will have some more. I have heard that they're already put in our Christmas, so this could be a next year's project, unfortunately. Okay, and I needed these for some projects. Really only needed two, which you see I've already got the two out. But my son's like, ah, oh, get three packs. You know you don't need them, so. I got three packs. Okay. And it's so nice to go with me every time I go to the store because I have problems with anxiety and I have to have my clutch, my crutch, as I would call him. Okay. Uh, you might have seen these because I did a, you know, Friday. And I showed you the small ones. See, there's the big one. But they do have a long one. That I think it's about this long, uh, wide. But it's it, it's a previous, you know, it's a long one. But um, one thing I don't like about these, well, I love them, but I'm a little disappointed. See, you get the design. That's where's the design? Usually it has four. Oh well, I mean you get 24, so you know I would have enough for whatever I'm gonna decapage them on to. But mm. you know, oh and I finally my store finally got the vinyl paper in, so I got black. And no, I don't have a Cricut, but I have die cut machines. I have a I have a cuddle bug and I have show you. I have my little Sizzix sidekick. It's adorable. Heavy though. But it is adorable. And this is um gold or copper. I think it yeah, this is the copper glitter. Glitter copper. And I've got gold, glitter, and I thought I got silver, but I got two gold, so I'm going to have to go back and get me a, a, a silver. They had other colors, too, and I got to get me some of those. And I have white. I need to get me some more white and another white and another black. But I have those, finally. Okay, um. I want to show you the progress. I have shown you this before. I added the, um, let me get one of these things. Nope, I couldn't be on that. Okay. Yeah, just have it. I'm trying to find something small, but it will have to be this big skeleton. Okay. See, where it shows you that it's for Halloween. I just cut two of those out and placed them up there. I thought that was cute. And see, there's one of the pumpkins. I need a little, little crow. They didn't even have any crows. I'm just like, uh, I need some crows. But these are uh, jack-o'-lanterns that I made out of the air dry clay. That Walmart, Walmart, Dollar Tree has, and I painted them because it was uh, like a terracotta color. And no, these were yellow. These were yellow, and I painted them orange, a uh, pumpkin color, and then a brown wash over them. And see, there's my one of my, there's my little ticket seller. 
and with the um you can't really see it i don't think oh this thing don't want to show anything but he's got one in his hand and i took the hole punch and punched me out well after i cut a square place it on some thick uh sales paper you know sales card and i punched out some coins and i've got i still need some um posters okay now i know i did this friday with y'all but i wanted to show you what i done i put a, oh wow anyway i put a sentiment fallen leaves and pumpkins please and i edged around all the leaves but other than that that's all i did extra after it dried but yep i wanted to show that to you and you know i get to doing another one and it's like hey wait that was a little different what did you do so okay here are my painty papers and this is where I cut the leaves out. So I did make me a lot of, this is one, come on, one, you know, the one that I mainly use. Here's one that I used. It has, I think I, oh, this is uh, like a second. It was still on that, and I put a little bit of white on it. This is, um. And where I clean my brayer. Here's a page. I got these as copy paper, but I didn't realize how long it, they were, but that's all right. Here's another one. I think this is another roll-off paper. This was a, I had a stencil. Yeah. Didn't do very well. I still, I'm still learning, so I gotta learn how to do all the stencil things. Okay, here's one. It, it, it did okay. It just when I put a different color on it, it just completely covered up all the other colors. Another roll-off page. This one is is pretty. I don't know why I didn't use some of it. For my leaves, they would have made pretty leaves. Uh, I, I, I think I did good. You let me know in comments <laughs> if I did good. There's another one. Here's a real light, another light one. I don't know how I got these light ones, but they're okay. This is another part of the stencil. And the last one, I didn't do too many. I just needed some for my fall stuff another light one and that is pretty much it and I just wanted to pop in and show you what I got from the Dollar Tree uh, my painting papers and the what I did on my art journal and I hope y'all like what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And think of, uh, I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell. Um, so you know when I make another video. And let me know what you think in the comments below. So I'm going to say goodbye. Stay safe. Look out for each other, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.